It's almost January. It will be whenever this video is coming up, which means that we only have two months left in this apartment. If we were moving to another three bedroom apartment, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but we're not. <laughs> we're actually gonna be downsizing to a studio apartment. There's so much that I need to fill you in on, but we'll get there in just a second. Cue the jingle. Our TSD comment for the week goes out to this one. Did you miss the end of the Annie Nova makeover series? No, you didn't. It is coming soon. We have just had scheduling conflicts and coronavirus and Christmas. So that will be up soon, I promise. And for our TSD project spotlight, it goes out to Jenna who has been organizing in her kitchen. If you want to be featured on the suitcase designer to share what projects you've been working on in your own home, you can send me a DM on at the suitcase designer on Instagram. I'm not worried about living in a small space again. We actually did that for many years prior to moving into this apartment. And take about three steps over here and now you're in our living room. So this is how we chill in our apartment. We've got great views. You can see the sea over here and a park. And if you turn this direction, that is our office. But what I am worried about is all of the pre-move downsizing. To very quickly explain the Korean system of renting here, there are two different types of apartments that you can live in. There is a real apartment and there is what they call an office tell. There's a lot of distinctions between the two of those when you break down the leases. But what you need to know for the sake of this video is that when you have a real apartment, the renter actually has to provide the refrigerator, the washing machine, maybe a dryer if you are lucky enough to have one. Those things are provided by the renter, not the owner. And why this is important for this video is because we're moving from an apartment to an office tell. And in an office tell, those things are provided for you. Not only are we seriously downsizing from a three bedroom to a one room studio apartment, but Additionally, we also have to figure out all the logistics for selling our large appliances. And that just adds to the stress of everything because you can't sell your refrigerator too soon because you need food to eat. It gets a little complicated and because I don't want to just be stressed the last month that we're in this space, I actually want to enjoy it. I think it's smarter to start the pre-move prep now and slowly work my way to a successful downsize. I think we'll go ahead and start in my closet, especially stuff like Christmas pajamas, I can now go through these. I'm trying to keep going through my closet every once in a while to just make sure that I'm really aware of everything that I'm keeping, that it's an active decision on my part to keep it in my closet because I'm going to wear it. Denim sting. It's really hard to find pants here. So it's mostly just like extra pajamas and stuff. Some of these are ones that we like have matching as a family and we take pictures of them on Christmas. I love these, my mom gave them to me. I'm not gonna keep all of these, but I'm gonna keep probably this pair and then a couple more from my mom just for Christmas because it's special, you know? Never feel guilty for keeping something that really makes you happy. It's okay if that looks different than what it looks like for somebody else. I never wear this shirt, but honestly, I feel like it would be cute under a biker jacket sometime, and this has just been the year of... Have we really worn many clothes at all this year? I don't think so. There are some things that I've kept that I feel like just kind of stress me out. I should keep these because they're good for this, but every time I see them... I'm not kidding you. Every time I see this, it just kind of like stresses me out. We associate things to certain memories, and... I remember wearing this whenever we moved back to Korea the second time at a school I really hated that really gave me a lot of anxiety. That's what it reminds me of. And so does this shirt, because I wore this shirt under my sweaters. That winter is really cold here. And I layered all of this stuff, and these just remind me, why am I keeping those? I'm gonna, they're done. They're out, they're out, they're out, they're out. I've got a lot of hangers here. Okay. No. It's weird because there's a lot of things this year I'm like, well, I haven't worn that because it's 2020 and I've just been, you know, staying in sweatpants. I know that I'll be wearing some stuff again, so as I do this, I'm trying to keep that in mind. I'm going to take out some things that also remind me of jobs that I'm trying to transition out of and not be a part of anymore. Before I jump the gun, though, and get rid of all of this stuff, I'm going to go through it one more time and try stuff on that I might, like, 
be hung up on just a little bit just to make sure that I don't regret anything later. I don't think I have too many clothes. This shirt, I've never, I've never worn it once. That should be like an indication that you should get rid of it, but I might. I have so many black sweaters. What I'm really excited to get to though, we're gonna tackle the dresser now. For Christmas, the last couple of years, we've been giving each other very practical gifts of loungewear and underwear, which I actually love because we give each other a bunch and then that means we clean out all of the old ones that like you need to cycle out your underwear pretty often. I got more underwear and loungewear for Christmas, so now I get to go through my socks, my underwear, and my loungewear and get rid of the ones that are like really ratty that need to be out. So I've been waiting for this moment. Who cares if you're a minimalist or you're not? I don't really care about titles here. I just care about not having so much stuff that you can't keep it contained. For me, that whenever I my drawer starts to look like this, I just have too much in it. I'm gonna do this, this will be easier. This drawer is a nightmare. Oh, I'm gonna get in there and get rid of some of these socks. I don't even like wearing socks all the time. I mean, look at this, this is not healthy. These are supposed to be contained somewhere and before. I'm gonna make two piles, one of socks, one of underwear. hard to see everything in there because it's all black. It's not perfect, but it's contained and it will get me to the new house where I can get everything more organized, especially underwear by category. I've never even worn those in like a month of underwear. Didn't realize because everything I have is black. So. These are too big. These are a little ratty because my mom just keeps me these. Little cat, love good pair of socks. Really ratty though. Okay, now we've got a serious problem. Look at all this. This cannot be the same. One got in the dryer. <laughs> so much better. This area is not perfect. There are definitely too many, but I'm comfortable with everything that I have here. But I just need better organization, which I will do at the new house. And then socks. I feel like this is a good amount of socks. <gasps> oh my gosh, now I can actually see what I have. Okay. Next order of business is this Christmas tree. We don't plan to be here for Christmas next year. Why am I gonna store a Christmas tree when I'm downsizing? downsizing or you're trying to declutter doesn't mean that you have to get rid of everything that's special to you it just means that you have to identify what is special to you and worth keeping and what's not this tree is not special to me it's not worth keeping but some of the ornaments are so some of the stuff I want to take to our next house but I'm gonna try and simplify what I have and try and get it to fit in this box if it's possible. Oh my gosh. Well, it's full to the brim, but I think I actually got it to work. I'll probably keep those for suitcase designer stuff also. to go to my meeting it's a little bit later and right now i feel like i just want to continue on with the decluttering i want to do a little in the kitchen our shoe cabinet our storage closet and my kind of suitcase designer closet and workout closet which is in the middle room honestly the kitchen is what i'm most nervous about whenever we leave because we will be moving to a much smaller kitchen closer to what we had all the kitchens we had before we had this one so i'm a little nervous because i've expanded with that said i don't want to declutter too much in this kitchen right now and get rid of stuff because we're still going to be in here for two more months and we'll still be cooking everything and i want to use all the things that i have before i get rid of them the thing i do want to work on right now is oh my god look at all this exploded oh i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the ones that are just really gross. This drawer definitely needs to be cleaned out. Not, not what this video is about, so we're not gonna do that right now. This is what I'm getting rid of. At least it's manageable and it's not overflowing. I also grabbed this from the door. Why is that not? There we go. Now it looks like we're getting somewhere. Uh, everybody's downsizing. You're gonna have to do your part too. Are you willing to downsize a little bit? 
You have three ball toys like that. Okay, two? What about one? Oh, don't push it, bitch. Okay, sorry. I actually already asked Jackson and he said I could. He doesn't wear these shoes. Shoes, they're always like really hard to get rid of. Yeah, okay, these boots I got when it was snowing a lot in Korea and it hasn't really snowed much. And they're actually way too big for me. So. Every dude is probably like, those are the exact same boots, but they're not. It's so hard to tell. Like, seriously, are these the same boot? It's hard to tell. I know these boots look identical, but they're very different. <laughs> they look so much like it's really hard to tell the difference. I'm gonna keep them like just a little bit longer because <laughs> I'm not moving yet. Oh, I'll get rid of it. I feel like that's, we're good. That's two pair. We're gonna stop right now. Oh, I feel really satisfied. I like everything that I have. This room. Getting better. All the stuff in the floor, except for the fan, that is going to make over, so we're getting there. When you find a box full of stuff that you saved all year that you were intending to use for this Christmas, but you forgot you had it because stuff just got out of hand. <sighs> okay, so this is a pile I ended up taking out of this box that was there. So I can recycle all this. This is my middle room area. That's also a workout room, drawing room. <laughs> kind of everything right now. It has so much going on, but this is where I keep stuff for the suitcase designer, which has exploded and gone crazy right now. I haven't wanted to deal with this for the last month, so I just like keep working and then throwing. So I'm gonna go through everything really quick, just see what I can get rid of. This is what we are left with here. And this is actually where our giant duvet that is still drying. We'll stick that up there and then this was these were pillows from pillows from our guest bedding and then just extra pillows that I have um, I, I really want to go ahead and sell this extra Metro just while I can it's one piece of furniture to get out of the house So I feel like I'm gonna try and make all of this work oh. Here we go these are empty storage boxes I might use at a friend's house next week. Because I don't think these are going to fit in our new apartment. And this drawer is packed, but all of my linen fits in here. You can tell I've definitely been on the <laughs> neutral theme for a while now. And then here, better. At least manageable. It's definitely gonna have to be thinned down before I move, but we're getting somewhere. Last couple things I need to get are in here. Okay, those go through here really fast, and I'll just show you at the end. I was able to get all of this out. There's some more under there. There's still a lot, but feels much better, and I think it's more of a realistic amount for us. Uh, we're going to be downsizing some more, but I feel like it's a good start for today. You guys, look at all this. Oh my gosh. So much. I found another Christmas garland. Um, just all of this stuff that somehow accumulates in your house. This is definitely a good after... I always forget to do this. I'd say that was a very successful pre-move declutter. Honestly, I think a lot of the stuff I'm just going to end up donating because I don't want to spend my time posting this all online. I don't have time, so I'll see you in the next video. Happy decluttering! <laughs>